to what is the nested case control this is one of the another advanced kind of the study design we need to understand a nested case control study is a specific type of epidemiological research design that combines elements of both case control and cohort studies it is often used to investigate the association between exposure to certain risk factors and the development of a specific outcome or disease in a nested case control study a subset of cases and controls is selected from a well defined cohort making it more efficient than a traditional case control study here how it works we will discuss so first cohort study in the first stage a cohort of individuals is identified and followed over time to collect detailed information on various exposure factors such as lifestyle behaviors and environmental exposures so the cohort is initially disease free but may be at risk of developing the disease of interest interest disease occurrence during the follow up period some individuals within the cohort may develop the specific disease or outcome being studied these individuals are identified as cases and selection of controls for each cases a set of controls is selected from the same cohort these controls are individuals who did not develop the disease by the time the case occurred but are similar to the cases in terms of age sex and other relevant characteristics the controls serve as comparison group exposure data data on exposure to potential risk factors are collected from the cohort participants at the beginning of the study throughout the follow up period this exposure information is used to assess the relationship between exposure and the development of the disease so data analysis researchers then compare the exposure status of the case and control to calculate odds ratio or relative risk depending on the specific research question the odds ratio are used to evaluate the strength of association between the exposure and the disease so what are the advantages of nested case control study so it includes efficiency it is more efficient than full cohort study because controls are only selected from the cohort participants who are at risk at the time of case occurrences reducing the need to follow all cohort members reduced bias since the cases and controls come from the same cohort they are often better matched in terms of potential confounding factors reducing bias cost effective it is usually less cost less costly time consuming than conducting a traditional case control study on the entire population however a nested case control study is not always feasible or appropriate for every research question it is most useful when studying a specific outcome or disease within a well defined cohort with available exposure data